なっちゃうんですけど、先輩に、先輩に、先輩に、You know, my son went to uh, every time. And another time, he was going to go to work with him. He was going to go to work with him. He was going to go to work with him. He was going to go to work with him. He was going to go to work with him. He was going to go to work with him. He was going to go to work with him. He was going to go to work with him. He was going to go to work with him. I want to thank Feldman um, Mishpacher for sponsoring the Shir Lugil and Ishmael's Eitan's father, Noah, and Avram Abba. This is his first yard site in Shamsam Halia, and then functionally Simchanach is in Brock. Amen. Amen. So I was a little bit, a little bit torn. On the one hand, it's Erev Yantiv, and I wanted to be Isaac and Yonah Panik. On the other hand, I wanted very much to continue with the with the, with the lima that we're learning in the Shargan Shiram. So I decided that we'll try to learn a sugya in Hanukkah that is the continuation or a, an application of the yisod that we've been learning. The Sharagan, but could be understood even if you're not Mishtatev in that Shia. The page that you see in front of you is one of my great masterpieces of cutting and scotch taping. <laughs> it, was, it, was a great, it was a very big challenge because every single page is 16 pages, because every page is a lot of stuff on the side, and I just wanted to do the text so um, and not to use up all the paper. And so you have it on the phone, you have it on the pages. This is from the, the Sefer Sif Sechein. So let me just review for a second the Yisrael that we've been talking about the past few weeks in the Shire Gan Shir. It's the Yisrael that we learned from the Nesh and from the Belatanya Shrutzelenu. Last week we learned, we learned a piece in the Kutay Torah from the Alter Rebbe on the Pesach in Shir Hashim, Yanosi V'chag V'yasel V'seisa HaMadrega Harini Yis Marayach, Hashimini Yis Kolech Kolech Ori V'mayrech Nave that the Yona this court is stuck with Seisa Madrega, the Chag Vesela, and the rocks, and uh, some place where she's trying to get out to descend. And Hyrenius Marayach, show to see how you look, Hashminius Kailach. And we learn from the Balatanya, who explains that the that the Neshama, the Neshama in its Shirish Ha'elyon, in its, in its Makar, in the Makar where the soul is. That's all the psukim of Yafosi, Rayasi, Yanasi, Yafosi, Rayasi, my beautiful, beloved, the dove. That's the Neshama and its Makar. What we've been learning over the past few weeks in the Shiram is that 
the neshama that we have inside of us, that's maslabesh and the guf, what we have inside of us is only ha'ara. It's only a tiny little bit of light that drips from that, from that neshama that's in its shorish, in its root, in shemaim. When we make the brach in the morning, lokai, neshama shasate bitohari, we're talking about the neshama in its purest, pristine state above. And when it says in Pasuk, Harin Yismarai, Hashmi Yiskolech, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is calling out, and each one of us, the, it's the Guf is calling out, and each one of us is calling out to the Neshama in its root, in its source, to draw down from the Neshama that we should, we should, be, able to, we should be able to have that continuous flow of the aura of the Neshama that it should descend into the into the into the goof, Arvinius Marich, Asmarach, Ashminius Kailan. So what we're going to learn tonight really is something that's not void for many, many hours. We're just going to try by way of Hagdama of what it is that we should be thinking about when we're lighting the Khanki candles. One of the, the Ikka Kavanas that we should have when we're lighting the Lara and what we should be looking at when we're watching the candles, when we're sitting and looking at the candles, what we could think about, what we could focus on. <coughs> It's exactly, really, it's this Nakud that we've been talking about, that we've been learning about in the Sharagan. So we can try to go very quickly. Uh, again, I apologize for the sloppiness of how it looks, but it should work, Mr. Hashem. Shalhebis Oilam. Begesha Sa'odam, again, this is from the Sefer Sif Seichain, which is a very popular, very important Sefer of Agdomis, the Panim Yazatar. That was just uh, over the past few years. By uh, by a yid, I think who was uh, what I was told is that he was a, a cook in, in a yeshiva. Is a balabas, obviously a very very secret and hidden person, secretive and hidden person. It was a big makubal, and he's been mizakas. He's not here anymore, but he's mizakas with these wonderful swarm. Shev seichen and how many of the chaver in the shul have been learning these swarm. So this is the one of Chanukah. Begesha sa'odam lahadlik haneiros hakadoshes. When we come to light the candles, the holy candles, yesh lizka. One has to remember that when, we're, that when we are coming to perform this beloved mitzvah here below in this world, the moment that each one of us in our homes, with Hashem's help, each one of us is going to put the shamas to the candle, the moment that we light a candle, that fire, that flame is ignited here below. That ignites the fire of the menorah in Ruchnius, the menorah in the root, in the source, in the shorish of the menorah, in Shemaim, in Eish Ruchanis. And when you hold the candle, when you hold the shamus next to the candle, next to the wick, until the flame of that candle is able to ascend on its own. At that moment, at that moment, and each one of us should think about this, that the moment that the wick of the candle in the home, in the menorah, catches fire, at that moment, there's an eish elyon because because the ash, the fire of the menorah, is the only. It's only a, the little fire that we see. It's only a tiny little piece of the flame that we see, just like we only experience a tiny little piece of our neshama in this world. But the moment that we, the moment that we light the candle and the psila and the wick is on fire, then there's this zivug that takes place. There's this mating that takes place, and the higher asha elyon menashamayim. And that Eish Shemaim then enters into the little lechtala, the little light, the little candle that's sitting in your menorah. There's this fusion of those ayers, of the two lights from above, that enters into the light below. Ve'inyin Yikol mitzvah yesh l'sharish l'mal. We perform the mitzvahs here in this world. But every mitzvah has its sherish lamala, its root above. Bechol pula shaisen kan ba'aretz nasas lamala b'shemaim gamkein. So when we put on tefillin, can we only experience the tefillin with the physical straps and the boxes? That's our experience of tefillin here in this world. But the moment that we're putting on tefillin here in this world 
it's it's connecting to this to the shirish to the root of what tefillin is lamala above. And we see this in particular that the Torah speaks very openly about this regarding the fire that was brought by the Mizbeach when we had the Beis HaMikdash. Amru Chachmen Zechon Levacha Afo Pi She'eish Yeredis Men HaShemayim With their Chazal tell us very clearly that even though the fire would come down from Shemayim to the Mizbeach even though the fire would come down from the Shemayim Mitzvah Lohavim Men HaHedyev The Mitzvah is that we put, again, we put the, the match to the fire, so to speak, to light the Mizbeah. And, and, and then there's that, then there's that zivig of the Ur Elyon with the Ur Tachtan. There's that meeting of the Ur from above into the Ur, the candle, the fire that we light on the Mizbeah, down below. This is exactly what's happening with the Nech Hanukkah. At the moment that we light the physical candles, you read this Eish Men HaMenorah Shalamala Al Rosh HaShal Havis that descends in Eish a Ruchni Zdike Eish which is, comes from the Shurish, the root of what fire that fire is it descends into the candle that we're that we've just uh, ignited the Nimsa Shashal Havis Shal Ner Chanaka Yesh Ba Kedusha Gedolam and HaShamayim therefore the flame of the Chanaka candles has tremendous Kedusha Men HaShamayim when a person sits by the menorah, and he looks upon, he stares at the lahav haneros. The Bedichva, they say, well, the Bedichva used to be able to sit for the different years, but they say it was, there were times that he sat for 10 hours straight, and, and they were watching him, and his eyes never blinked, never closed, when he was sitting by the menorah. He sat for 10 hours with his eyes looking at the menorah. Uh, but we should try at least to do our best for at least a half hour. How are you, Mestakal al Eish? When a person is looking, Mestakal Lavanev, he's looking at the flame of the candles. How are you, Mestakal al Eish Haruchanis? Even though you think, listen, what is that? I just I bought this oil in the store and I, I, I lit the candle. It's just my little candle. It doesn't mean it. It's not true. At that moment, you're Mestakal al Eish Haruchanis. You're looking at this combination of the fire from below that has been, that ha- that has been filled with the fire from above. Shalmanar Halyon. Mze Makadesh is Hainai. And the Swarm tell us that the by looking at the Hanukkah candles, a person's eyes can be lifted to a different place, can be purified. This is a very big so than the Mazar Kaidish and the Rapsh and the Vikhaim Skus line that we've spoken about many times over the years. The Indian of Ainlona Rashus Lish Lamesh Bamel, the Rice and Bavad, the whole thing of Hainaim. Repairing our damaged eyes by looking at the by looking at the candles. The Nimshach Halav Kedusha Yedayla Ma'ayd. He does bring in here in the notes. I'll just mention something we spoke about some years ago, that it's brought down from the Kedusha Rimshu Sigalain or that Sadikim, that when the menorah was put into Geniza, at the time before the Chorban, when the menorah was 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 hidden, someplace below the Besamikdash, when the menorah was when the menorah was hidden. It was hidden when it was shining, when it was lit. It was hidden while it was lit. And the tzaddikim have, uh, the tzaddikim have a, a, a Kabbalah that adayin like kavsa, that it was put away while it was lit and that it never went out, the candles. That all of these years, in some mysterious secret hidden place, the candles of the, of the menorah from the Beis HaMikdash are still burning, are still burning. And and our hadlokas neiros that we have in each one of our homes is kein is we're taking from the fire <coughs> that's from the shorish of that fire in Shemaim, which is the fire that was from the mizbech the fire of the menorah and all of these fires are sitting together in the little candles that we have in our home. Ubeze move on. Ubeze move on. Chachmenu zal roch miuchedes laharoya ner chanaka. Therefore, we can understand that when a person is not able to light the Hanukkah menorah for whatever reason, and no one's lighting for him to have him in mind in his house, and he's dragging around someplace, and he's able to make a bracha, when he sees the menorah in somebody else's house, he's able to make the bircha sarah, which we don't have. So I mentioned this on Sunday morning. 
that we don't see this by other mitzvahs. That there's uh, to make you see a sukkah, you don't make a bracha. There's no other mitzvah. You have such a thing that you see the mitzvah and you make a bracha. Achkan kevin shahaya onus melekayim maisya mitzvah. In a situation where the person was not able to physically light his own menorah, he couldn't light the candles. Adayin yochlai deriya. Nevertheless, since the ikur inyan of this mitzvah is, is seeing the light of the candles, the person, by looking at the candles, even though it's somebody else's candles, adayin yochel aydei ri'ya lekabel or ha mitzvah, he's able to he's able to receive the light of this mitzvah, because the whole inyan of this mitzvah is the or is the light. He's able to receive the or of the mitzvah, hamazgala al hashal heavens, because the or of the mitzvah is revealed in the flame of the candle that he's looking at. Because the Ikki Mitzvah of Nech Hanukkah is the Ros, the Ros of Bilvad, is to see them. That's we see the whole in the Pesumi Nisa, Davka, by, by, we have it by Megillah, and we have it by, by Hanukkah, and also by the Avakaisis, but especially here, it has to do with seeing something, with seeing. Ube'eis ha'istaklus al-aneiris. So when we're sitting there, we're looking at the candles. Is bonin. We should we should first of all think. Remember, shemetzius ha'eish who ayosa karvel ruchnius. We call him etzius shabarlam. That of all things that exist in the world, that have some sort of an appearance in this world, that are part of this world, there is nothing as spiritual that is as close to not being in this world as the flame of as a fire. This is where I'm talking a lot about this. And that's where we find Kinei Mitzvah, Tare Or, Neir Hashem, Nishmas Adam, that we find throughout Tanakh that, that when, 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 when speaking about the Neshama, the closest marshal that can be given for the Neshama is Neir Hashem, Nishmas Adam, is, is a fire, is a can, and Or, Tare, and so on. It's the closest thing in the physical world to being something which is not physical. So when a person looks at the candle, he's looking at something that's in this world, but really it comes from another world. It's... It's clear that it's not entirely of this world. And that's the same story of his own life. So when a person looks at the candle, he should, he should think, he should concentrate on this, that this fire came from Shemaim. I lit it in my house, but the makar of this, the sharish of it is in Shemaim, the same as my own soul. And and this this fire, just like the mizbech, Hashem told me to, told us to light the the, the fire on the mizbech, even though the ish is yodim and the shemayim. So this fire is zeh ish yodim and the shemayim. Yavshit machshav tochtas mehevel elam azeh. By thinking about this, a person is able to take his mind for at least a little bit to take his mind off of the the havolim of this world, of the silliness of this world. And to draw closer to the Or of Hashem, and to the Or Ruchni, Kedushas Hashem. And with this, the person is able to draw that Or of the Neshama, and the Or of that Menorah, the Or of that fire. He's able to draw it within himself. So there, there are two things here. He points out also in one of the notes that that um, why do we say on the first night Aneiru Salol? It should be just on the first night. You should just say Aneiru Azeh. It's Aneiru Salol. The Sham is not the Sham is just the Sham. So on the first night we should just say Aneiru Azeh. So what do we say Aneiru Salol? It's not because we mess up the song. What do we say Aneiru? We say Aneiru Salol. So the the terrorist in Pneumius is. That that Haneros Halalu is not talking about just the candles that I'm looking at by my window or on the table wherever I light them. It's not just I'm not just talking about the, this. Haneros Halalu is referring to the candle that's over here and the candle that that the Shalhev is the fire that descended from above. Haneros Halalu, Haneros Halalu. These these candles, these candles. Is this from Haneros Halalu Kodesh? Me'atzma. 
Chodesh Hayim Me'atzmah Ki Hem Shal Heves Eish Mena Shemayim. This is the difference between saying going not time to go into the whole dictum now, but instead of saying I never saw Kedoshim Hayim. The word Kodesh means Me'atzmah. It means it has already it has some sublime kedusha that comes from a higher place, which we understand. Ki Hem Shal Heves Eish Mena Shemayim. Because the candles in the house are really a shall have his ash and a shamai, a fire from above. Lachain, the ain't learning resource list, I may spaham, shall also list, I may slow iron shum hanagashmas. Therefore, we understand why we can't use this light for any any physical purpose. You can't count your, your change by the candles, you can't do anything to 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 demote <coughs> and to lower this or which is an orb and a shamai, by using it for physical things. The whole avoid of this mitzvah is lir oisam bilvad, just to look at them, to see them, and to and to think. Zehu. Ula hachnis b'soicha kedushasa mahagdoila aydei kach harivir. To try to draw within oneself this great kedusha of the neshama, of the fire, of the ur of the neshama, the fire of the neshama that ha- that is now entering into your body by way of looking at these candles. That's why he brings down in the note. I'll just tell you a little bit outside. He brings down in the note that we see that in the nusach of of um, the nusach of Alanisim. So all of this, uh, all of this preparation that took place, that they cleaned out, they cleared out the heichel, and tiharuas mikdash and they purified the mikdash. So the svarm all explain. He brings down here from the svarm. The svarm all explain that that um, we know that the, the 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 mind of a person. Each one of us, the mind of a person is Hechel Hashem Hema, Hechel Hashem Hema. That the person himself is a Kli, is a Hechel Hashem. Each one of us, our the mind, the heart, our bodies are a, like a Besam Mikdash. Hechel, it says in Pasik in Yom Yom, Hechel Hashem Hema. That a person, each one of us is created to be a Hechel, to be a Hechel, a sanctuary, a sanctuary, a Kli, to receive that or of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Uh, Therefore, he explains in the note, he brings from the swarm, that when the Kahanim came into the Beis Mikdash by Hanukkah, uh, the first thing they did when they came to Beis Mikdash was, uh, to clean out. They cleaned out and purified whatever they could. They took out all of the tumor of the Yivan and they, they clean out the Beis HaMikdash. Therefore, this firm say that when you and I, when we sit down by the Hanukkah candles, the first thing to do when we sit down is to be Mahar B'tshuva. That was to do a cleaning. To do a cleaning, to, to be Mahar B'tshuva. To the same way that when the when the Hashanayim came into Beis HaMikdash, is Finos HaKadosh 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 before he liquish as much as... Uh, the, before lighting the illegal uh, 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 before lighting the candles, there needs to be this tahara, this pinoy, this clearing out of things that don't belong. So it's important for a person to, for a moment, before lighting the candles, to be mahara b'tshuva. <laughs> and certainly, when sitting down to look at the candles after lighting the candles, to think about to be mahara b'tshuva. To, that's our way of cleaning out the Beis HaMikdash from, from the Tumah of Yavan, from the Tumah of the Yavan. By saying the bracha and the physical act of lighting the candle, by lighting the by making the brachas and lighting the candles, we are bringing together all ten spheres. Be megala malchus shemayim. She shares a makom mechza pedushas nishmas yisrael. Which is the the sherish, the root, and the source of kedushas nishmas Yisrael. Lahayir lahe aris svirus to draw upon 
to draw upon the neshama that's within our bodies, the or of the ten spheres, from the makar of where the neshamas come from. Ad shehi nivnis v'nases ner mitzvah. Ha'yidei shemi iwen alea milamala, shloy shi yechudim el yoinim, again the Kabbalists from talk about this at great length, in Kis Ve'ari, in the Mishash, and so on. But even regular people like us can have just very simple kavana to even think of these shemos when we light the candles. The, the three, the, the three yechudim of Havaya Ekya, Hevav Yudhe, Aleph Hey Yudhe, and then Havaya Elokim. Havaya Ekya is corresponding to the spheres of Chachma Bin Andaz. Chabad, and then Havaya, so that's Havaya Ekya, Havaya Elok, Havaya, um, El, Havaya Elokim, Havaya, Havaya Elokim, is a remez to the, is to, that's referring to the middle, to the spheres of Chesed, Guth, Vers, that's a Chad Yisrael, Havaya Adnus, Havaya Adnus is, 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 um, is to the lower of, of that's a Chad Yisrael and Malchus. <coughs> so these are the three the three combinations, Havaya, the first is Havaya, Hevav Yudhe, Aleph Hey Yudhe. That's Chabad, Chacham Bin Adas. And then Havaya, and then Havaya Lokim is Chesed Gura to Ferris. And then Havaya Adnus at the end is, is the Netzach Yisrael and Malchus. And all of these together come to the Gematria of Ner, 250. These shemas, Havaya Ekya, Havaya Lukim, and Havaya Adnus, come to the Gematria of Nun Reish, which is near candle. Nimsa Shama Noira, Imashal Heves. So it turns out that when we're lighting the, the menorah, the, the, the flame of the candle, Shela, he akshav, Kaimer Shlemish, a kol esadargus akadushin. It's a Kaimer Shlem, it's an entire structure of the ten spheres that are shining through that candle, through the ur of the of the menorah. And therefore you should have in mind that your eyes, your eyes contain within them the ten spheres, the ten dargas of Kedusha. Ki ayin, the word ayin, ayin yud, and the nun, ayin oil chamesh pamim havaya. The word ayin equals five times the name yud ke vavke, the shem havaya. Hushnei einahe naim biyachad. And when you take the two eyes, you have the ayin and ayin, then it comes out to be him asara havayas negate esas spheres kedoshes. Then you have the ten, you have ten havayas, ten times the shem havaya, which correspond to the ten spheres. Ushem istakel beesar havayas shem shnei enav. So when you're looking with your two eyes, which are the esar havayas, the ten ayin ayin, the ten havayas, are the shem havaya, shem yukev avke. When you're looking with your with with the with your two eyes that are the that that have the that contain within them the ten havayos, shavishnei ena vazai heima shavim, then your physical eyes are able to draw out from the candles kol eser dargos agnuzim mekedushas and eres l'toichena. It's like a magnet. The ayin and the ayin, which are the ten havayos, ten times you kev okay? the ayin and the ayin are able to. Like a magnet to draw out from the candles into your eyes and into your into your body, are able to draw out <coughs> the ten dargus of the spheres of near mitzvah, havaya ekya, havaya lekim, havaya adnus. O misham nechnasim el pnimius nafsha ruchav and nishmaso, and you're able to draw through your eyes by looking at the candles. You're able to draw through your eyes into the nefesh, into your into your own nefesh ruach and neshama lekadsham ulataharam. To purify your nefesh ruach and the shaman. Gam be stachlus and also by looking at the candles with our eyes, ma'ayra lamala o yud gimel midays shel rachimim hanikra ene pekicha. We are taught in the kisvei hari. That through looking at the candles, through meditating upon the candles with our eyes, in addition to drawing the ten spheres, in from which means that higher part of who we are, deep into ourselves, the ten spheres, we're able also 
to be Mo'ira, the 13 Midas Harachimim, who we were talking a lot about by the Yom Taiva, which is called Eina Pekicha. Eina Pekicha, which means Hashem's open eye. Eina Pekicha. Eina Pekicha. The Lainoim Tadir, which means that Hashem does not, this mid of Hashem not to close his eyes, to keep his eyes open. I'll, I'll just share with you, it's in the note over here from the Zerah Kaidish, from the Heligi Rav Shisar. Just listen for a second, because I, 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 you don't have it, it's, it's, it's on the side. So, the Zerah Kaidish, he writes the following, if you look in the Zerah Kaidish, Rosh Kaidish Kislev. Srikhan Lairah Haina Pekichet Lainoim Tadir. We want very much through the Hanukkah candles by looking at the Hanukkah candles and having our eyes open to see the Hanukkah candles to be more of this Mida Kibyach Shemaim where Loyon and Loish and Shemir so Hashem's eyes don't close to us. Hashem's eyes remain open to us, so to speak. When we are when we do this, when we more Hashem's open eyes, when we open up Hashem's eyes, Ukshimairin Ze Mistatman a name shall reshoim. Then by doing that, we are able to shut the eyes of the Rishon, to close the eyes of the Rishon. Zahi Ovaidus Besa Hashemanoi, She Ozi made din, Kamashamu She Hakshik, we named She Yisrael. The whole Indian of the Yavanim was to darken, was to close our eyes to Ruchnis, to close our eyes to, to, to Emuna, to close our eyes to Akajabar. That was the Indian of Yavan, Hakshik Hosha. A darkening, a closing, a shutting of the eyes. Besa Hashemanoi, Besa Hashemanoi, Hakshik, we be talking God by his Berkshem, right? <laughs> and what and what's the other of Hanukkah? The other of Hanukkah is that the eyes of the Rishoyim are shut closed. That we're able to close their eyes and to darken their eyes and Kivyachal to open the eyes above. By drawing the 13 meters, which means Hashem's eyes are never closed. Hashem's Pashka, I mean, no, Hashem's eyes, but Hashem knows everything. It means that we are over this meat of Hashem. Which comes from the highest thing with the 13 meters, which is Kesar, the Akash Baruch, this Kulai Chesar, Kulai Hava, and Hashem's eyes are open to every single one of us, and every single every single man, woman, and child, and Am Yisrael, and every single little uh, Chayal is hiding in a hole someplace, ready, you know, to do what he has to do or what she has to do. The eye of Akash Baruch is Aina Pekich, is Mamish wide open. That's the Or of Hanukkah. We spoke about the lot by Yantav, that the midah, the 30 midas is a service of Hashem's love, Hashem's rachimim, even even if we're unworthy, even though we're unworthy, to open up Hashem, that Hashem's eyes are completely opened, to, no, matter, no matter what Madrega a person is on. And this is what Shlom Alch was davening for. <coughs> by, the, by, the, by building the Besam Mikdash, by, by, by that place of the fire of the Mizbech, Shlom Alch was davening because Hashem, please, through this, through this fire below, let it, it ignite the fire above and be more than 13 minutes of Racham, that your eyes should be open to all of the crying and all the davening of, of, of Am Yisrael. Lishmo Alem, to listen to us. Bechol Kara Melecha, whenever we call out to you, to listen to our tefillahs. Shafilu Einan Eru'uyim, she has kabbal tefillahs enu. Even though we're not worthy, even though we're unworthy, that our tefillahs should be accepted. And kol ze yabit aleinu be'ein chemlosa, that's called ene pekicha. Ene pekicha, that's like when, when, when the child is in danger, even though it could be that the mother was yelling at the kid because the kid was doing this, the kid was doing that. But if, it, if, it's, if it, in a second, if the child is in any danger, the, the mother is in a place of any pekich. It's not, it's, it's something different altogether. It's kule rachem. And to even see before we dive into what we need, that you should, you should help us before we shouldn't have to come to, 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 to any problems. Now we're going deeper into the kavana of looking at the candles. So until now, it was a, a Chloe's Dicker Kavana to have when we're looking at the candles. Now we're going to now we're going to stare at the candles more intensely and look at them more closely. Did this come out on the page? I hope it came. Yeah. 
the flame that's on the candle, that's on the wick, kula michamisha chalakim, it consists of five parts. Shame dugma umramzim ilmasayim. These five parts of the flame are a remez to the elyonim to something higher. Aleph, number one. Eish hashchayra. There's the black flame, the, the black flame, asaveves asapsila, that is closest to and that's attached, that's surrounding the wick. The nearest kemarat chelas ukim, it looks like a dark blue, a dark blue that's right by the, that's, that's by the wick, on the wick. Remez al oilam hasiyah. That's a remez to this world, to oilam hasiyah, which is sphere samalchus, the sphere of malchus. Hashem Yisham Nimshach Nefesh Adam, and from that comes the nefesh of a person, from the lowest sphere, from uh, this madrega of of Malchus Shabbasia, comes nefesh Adam. She hakroy v'lagufa hayoyser Ava, which is the most physical and closest to the guf, closest to the body. That's the first part of the flame. Days, shall have us hagadayla, the main part of the fire. That's burning. She ikar ha'esh hanira, the kamara loven v'yarek. It appears to be white with green, white with green or a greenish, uh, white whitish color. Remez lo'elam ha'yitzira. That is a remez. of are climbing up. That is a remez to to the oilam ha'yitzira, which is neged spheres teferes, which corresponds to the sphere of teferes. As mishon nimshav ruach adam. Which is the source of ruach adam, the ruach. Shugavomi ha nefesh, which is higher, which is higher than the nefesh. Gimel, have hokas or ha yoytse me ha neir ha meir, the svivas hashal heves, the halo of light, the, um, the 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 shine that comes out from the candle, around the uh, right around the the fire. Shein roin oisel ahedya, just it's a it's a it's an or it's a shining that comes out. Rakash a yachzik as yod of summer chlashal heves yiris noitzitzus or hamavik. If you hold your fingers, if you hold your hand right next to the candle, you'll be able to see something shining on on your hand. Roim is the oilim habria. That's a remez to the oilim habria. She connects spheres bina, which corresponds to the sphere of bina. She lemalim me ha'almen sesimen, ba'almen the ha'almen sesimen. That's already from the higher, the three higher spheres, that, from that part that's called Amadis Kasya, Amadis Simon, the hidden world. So, so, it, so far it's Nefesh, and now Ruach, and Neshama. Now, it's not just the light that's, that's closest to the candle, some sort of a mysterious little little uh, halo next to the candle. Now we're talking about how it, it, it lights up the house. Imagine the room is dark, there are no lights, and how the room is illuminated by the light. That doesn't, we don't understand how, Hashem, how this works exactly. We <coughs> study it, but how this works, that there is such a mitzvah that Hashem made in the physical world, that by doing something on this candle with a physical, with oil, and with a wick, that somehow... There's this, there's this, we take it for granted, but there's this way of lighting up the entire house with this R, that something happens to the house. There's no, there are no candles all over the ceiling. There are no wicks and flames all over the ceiling. But if you cover the candle, then the house is dark. If you extinguish the candle, then everything is dark. This this R, that's mispashe, that you can't really understand or touch whatever this is, is the Oilam Hatzilus. This is a remus to the Oilam Hatzilus, the highest world. Oilam Hatzilus, Shekinege Sviyos Chachma. It corresponds to the Sviyos Chachma, Hashem Yisham Nimsha Chuba, Chaya Shel Ha'odam. That from there comes the higher Madrega, there's, ne- there's Nefesh Ruach Neshama, Chaya, we're going to be learning about this more in the Shagan, comes the Madrega of Chaya, which is something which is makif already. It's not inside. It's more of a makif. And then five, eish ha'yisaydi. Whatever that means, shu'akoach v'hashorish in many yoytzei 
Now, I'm not talking just about the fire that's in my house, but that this fire is somehow uh, a, 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 a reflection of the esod of Eish, the element, the fire in all of existence, in all of creation. Every fire here in this world is connected to the shurish of Eish, to the root uh, of Eish, of fire, the esod of fire. If not for that, it wouldn't be able to, to, to light. This is something that, that we can't see with our eyes. Not in the room, not by the candle. This we can't see. It's called uh, black or dark. Because darkness means that which we don't understand. It's a mystery. This is, this is hinting to a, a much higher world. Shulamaylim atzilas, which is higher than atzilas and nikra, adam kadmoin, which is called adam kadmoin, shekenegit sviras keser. It corresponds to the sphere of keser. Hashem yishon nimshuv haba yichida. That's where yichida shev nefesh. Yichida, yichida. Shal haadam. That's the yichida shal adam. The etzim, the etzim, the essence. Yichida shal adam. Bechen ma yechra the adam. So a person, how a person should tremble. Be laughing, shake. Beisha yoshev v'mavid bekedushas haneiros alolu. When you're sitting and you're looking at the holiness of these candles. She is born in Eksha Kola Oilamis, Halyonim. When you think about this, how all of the higher worlds, Atsilas, Briya, Yitzira, all the way down to Asiya, Nefesh, Ruach, Neshama, Chai Yechida, the higher essence of who you are, and all higher worlds, all ten spheres, everything is converging. Everything's converging on this tiny little candle that you this this little candle that you that you just lit. In this little candle, all of these iris are converging. And the Swarm say that he brings down here that the Swarm say that it's not only all, uh, all the, it's not only the, uh, the um, he brings down from the mayor and the that. And from your parents, your, your parents and your grandparents, all the way to Adam Arishan, are in your candle. The, their iris also are all converging upon this candle. From the Zaydis, the Babis, and the Elkis, the Babis, everything's all converging here in the candles. And the five parts of the flame. And each of the colors. Is enclosed the light of a different world, of a higher world. Vazai, we finished in a few minutes. Vazai, Yishpach Nafshal Hashem is Baruch, and then you should pour your heart out to Hashem. Yishpach Nafshal Hashem is Baruch, Shor Shal Ha'ilam Asal Yonim, Ami Irim Beneus Halolo, and you ask Hashem, please, Baruch Hashem, all of this are from the higher world, from the essence of who I am, and from the beginning of creation, and of all my ancestors, all of this are. And these neiros halolu yaiu b'kol chelke and neshama shol may they illuminate the five parts of my soul. Nefesh rule neshama chayichida she yislav who be'esh lahev shall have us ka and my may 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 all the five parts of my of my own soul may they catch on fire <coughs> through all of these fires may I may my the fire within me be ignited kadei she yuchal kadei she yuchal lave des Hashem is baruch be'esh yoytim b'chamim b'saleim that I should be able to serve you Hashem with a warm heart. With a fire and with a, with a warm heart. And also, you should think about this when you're sitting by the candles. That this, that this light that is coming from the candles, and that's filling the entire room. That's good. It's good that after you light the candles, if, you could, if it's possible to just turn off all the other lights, turn off all the lights and to sit by the candles without any of the other lights on, and to sit by the candles. That this R that's coming from the candles, that's lighting up the room, that's filling the room, it's a part of the fire also. Because it's so exalted and so great, it's so high, it can't stay in the it can't stay on the candle. It doesn't remain on a physical, can't be connected to a physical thing. It's just an R, Ruchli. That's the light that's in the room. And, we, and it's higher than that, but that's what we can see in the room. You're sitting inside this light. You're sitting inside this light of the Chalakia candle, 
of all of these ayahs. You're sitting in that light. You are sitting in this in this ocean of light from Shamaim. With your entire body. In your, with your mach and shasa, you're sitting in Ramach Evarim Shasa Gidim, you're sitting mamish engulfed, immersed in this ur of the of of uh, of the Hanukkah candle. Of that shall have us from Shamaim. Zatam Shashamana Vrainu Shasadigim Chasidim Yoshu Sharu Khabistaklu. This is why we heard, we've heard many, many stories about how the tzaddikim would sit for a long time, for many hours. They would sit by the candles. And all kinds of all kinds of stories that we have with the how they were being how they're able to be piled, all kinds of Yeshuas and so on. And there's this, this story with the Khazim Mudlin with the biggest rush in town who was mastering everybody, and they wanted this guy to get killed, and they came to tell the Khaiza that this guy is a big rush and he's mastering all the Jews and he has to be killed. He's an informer. And the Chayzer said, I don't see, I see his mom. said, Sadiq, I don't know what you're talking about. And they and they found out that at that time, when they came to Chayzer, it was exactly when that guy was lighting Hanukkah candles. Exactly the moment he was lighting Hanukkah candles. It's, it's a different art. It's, it, it, it's something else. A person, it, it, it's, so even this guy, I mean, it says afterwards they took care of him. <laughs> but the Shas Maisa, the Shas Maisa, the Chayzer said, what are you talking about? I don't see, I, I don't see what you're talking about. He says, and all the stories that have to do with the candles and million stories like this. That they would sit with, with tremendous, tremendous dvekas by the candles. They couldn't, they couldn't tear themselves away from the candles. When a person looks at the Shalhevis and Eris, he looks at the candles, or Ms. Boynin Begdushasam, and he thinks about the Gdush of the candles, Nichna Simcha Gadoyla Belibo. He should be filled with tremendous simcha, with tremendous joy. Adshemis Oira me atzmo loshio lazam la shemizbar. So after sitting quietly for a few minutes, looking at the candles and thinking about these things, then you can begin to sing at the, whatever songs you like, with the say the cute and the whatever is printed, all the stuff that's printed that you like to say. Each, each uh, person with his own customs and his own family. To sing, to sing, to sing songs like a with a heart that's filled with the simcha, filled with gagum, gagum and simcha, the longing that we should be able to be, should be to, uh, to, to feel this light within ourselves, to experience this light within ourselves. Right. And I had, I had a beautiful thing that the, there was a. The, it was a bacha that, that sent me a, a, a message from a, a, a modern relative, I don't know, it's a modern, it's a nice, beautiful yeshiva, and not in New York, from out of town, and he sent me a, a, he sent me a little thing that they have, that they, that they, they created a group, in, it's a high school, they created a, a group in the high school, and they, uh, working, they work with each other and talk and learn about Shemir Sainai and in Yonim of Kedusha. And they call their they call their group the Hoheri Nenu. Hoheri Nenu. They call their group Hoheri Nenu, and they ask me to say something for them. And I, I and I see that this is something that's catching on. Does Hashem? Perhaps there's a thing that try to think back when you were in high school. There would have been such a, <laughs> a group like that. If anything, there would have been a group to extinguish such a group. <laughs> Anybody would have dared to open the mouth to even say such a thing. It would have been killed. <laughs> and now this it's a popular thing. A whole chevra joining. <clears throat> there's such an ur, and Bechlal, what's going on in the world with this Ibuvia of the ur and the Chayshach of the Muhammad. But as we're learning about the ur, so Muhammad is here, and the Nimis is such an, such an ur. There's so much light in the world, and we have such a schus to live at this time. This is going to be the most special, most miraculous Hanukkah that we ever had. Thank you. Thank you. Whoever the ones that are married, don't forget to say. The same talent, what we're talking about.